what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and as you guys can see i am at the field today with uh, my cleats and i just wanted to do a video real quick talking about like uh lacing tips so as you guys can see by the title of this video i'm just gonna give you guys some lacing tips now that you know an x is like a normal like uh, standard tongue construction now you guys can like use these tips before since it was like a one piece upper it didn't really matter and now i feel like these can, tips can help so when you tie your laces tight right here so as you guys can see when i tie the last loophole it still kind of stays open here on the sides even with even when i tie them like this even not it still like loses its tension up here so what i like to do so as you guys can see like the last loophole like i'll take it out put it inwards like from the outside and put it in that way when you tie the laces up here as you guys can see look the last loop holes there's more tension and it actually doesn't like open it actually stays pretty close even without me tying the knot so you guys see that here and then like see the difference here like like it stays open even if i like it loses the tension so for me that, i kind of do that with all my cleats like with the uh, normal tongue construction because it, you just have a bit more like tension here so it just stays, you feel a bit more locked in than like a normal one. It's just like a small thing, but it kind of helps in my opinion. And I didn't invent this, obviously I learned this from somebody else. Or I've seen it like online, like Josh from sr for you I'm pretty sure I saw it from him. So I just wanted like to share with you guys just because, you know, you do feel the difference here at the top. And also another thing that you guys can do is that when you tie your laces, tie it on the side and you'll just like tie it normally, right? And then you just bring these little loops on the side here. And as you guys can see, it's like a nice clean surface area. The laces are kind of tight right here. And for the most part, they're gonna stay there because it is pretty tight here. And there's a little bit of, I mean, you don't really feel it as much. So like, it's just a, a cleaner look. You don't have to be always like, worrying about the laces coming, like popping off or getting tangled. Um, sometimes they will come out, but you know, you just slide them back in there and it's fine. Another thing you guys can do to improve like lockdown and these type of like lacing setups is actually the runner's loop. So with the runner's loop, you want to put it on the same side as as here. So you do that, and you end up with like loops here on the side. So you just run your laces through loops, and then you pull the laces tight, and then. And then you get like the runner's loop, as I guess you see here, these two loops. And there is a lot more lockdown than these when I tie them like this. So if you guys just want more lockdown here in the heel, I recommend using the runner's knot or the runner's loop. It, you actually do feel a lot of tension. For me, I don't really find any like slippage problems in the heel and I don't really like that much like crazy like lockdown in the heel. I just prefer going with this one. For me, this is enough like tension here on the top of the foot where my like, heel doesn't slip. So I just prefer this. And yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys like different lacing tips. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this type of video, make sure to leave a like. Also subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.